everyone welcome back to my channel um, I just want to start by saying I hope everyone is staying safe I hope you are doing well uh, I've actually been uh, self quarantined my job closed its doors last week so I've just been at the house um, with my um, husband and his daughter and my cats and so we've kind of been going a little stir crazy um, but I was on Instagram one day, just kind of scrolling as one does when there's not much else to do, and it came across this guy right here. So this is the Glow Addict Beauty Box, but this is actually the March Mystery Box. Now I know it's basically April at this point when you're seeing this, however, I decided that I would go ahead and share with you guys what's inside the box, just in case you're interested. This was only $10.99, and it came within just a matter of days. Now I have already peeked inside to see what I got, and I was kind of contemplating whether or not I was going to share it with you, um, but I decided I would, and I will get to you guys why. Okay, so when you open it up, this is what it's looking like. You just have some bubble wrap. There's no card, and I'm assuming that's probably because everyone gets something different since it is a mystery box. So first you'll get a, um, or what I got was a loose glitter and it just says Mermaid Lava Bliss. I'm not sure if Mermaid is the company, if Lava Bliss is the company or if that's just the name of the glitter, but it is a loose glitter. And so you have some like different size chunks. There's some gold, there's some iridescence in there and it's just like in this little test tube with a little cork top. Um, now I don't know if this is cosmetic grade glitter. I don't know if this is safe for the eyes. So I need to do some digging, um, some research before I apply it to my eyes. It is really pretty though. So hopefully I can find a use for it. The next thing I uh, got was this Lash Boom Mascara. I've been getting a lot of mascaras lately in my subscription boxes, um, but I have found some really good ones, so I don't mind. This is from a brand called Sistar. It's S-I-S-T-A-R. I've never heard of that brand before, but this is what the packaging is looking like. And when you open it up, it just has one of those rubberized kind of pokey wands. I don't usually go for wands like this, um, but I will definitely give it a try. And then next up, I have two single shadows from Ruby May Cosmetics. Um, so these are just the ones that you would just pop into your magnetic palette, like a Z palette or something like that. I never tried anything from Ruby May, at least I don't think I have. So I'm kind of excited for that. The first one is called Granola and it's just like an orangey, like matte kind of shade. Let's see. I can show you guys without it falling out of this little plastic thing. And I'll do a little swatch. It is very creamy. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that swatch. It's right there. Doesn't have a whole lot of pigment, a whole lot of payoff. Let's see if it's buildable. I mean, it's very, very subtle. So, but I don't know. It could be like a pretty transition color. So that's that. And then the next one is in the shade Madonna. And it's kind of like a sparkly pink color. And that's what that's looking like right there. So let's see, do a swatch of that. Ooh, that is pretty. That is really, really pretty. It's very creamy too. So it's like a pink with like a little bit of like a gold shift to it almost whenever the light hits it. That's beautiful. I really, really like that. Okay, nice. So, okay. And then I have this brush here and this is from Eli Maya. Again, a brand I'd never heard of before. It's E-L-Y-M-A-Y-A, -Y -Y and it's a very interesting brush. So, I don't know if you can tell or if you can see, but it's like a flat top blending brush. There we go. It's like a synthetic bristles. It is kind of, it is soft. It's not pokey or, or anything like that. And it's kind of firm and dense. So, I'm not, I don't know. I've never had a brush like this before, so I'm not really sure. I mean, I guess you could use it in the crease, like to blend out or I don't, I'm not really sure. So I will give that a go. I love brushes, but I just, yeah, I've never seen a brush like that before. I don't know. So there's that. And then last but not least, we got a palette. So this was kind of like the star of the show. And this is the Emerald palette. And this is from Beauty Creations. And I'm assuming it's like emerald to kind of go with March for St. Patrick's Day. Did anyone do anything for St. Patrick's Day, by the way? I feel like St. Patrick's Day just kind of got looked over because of everything that's been going on. I know we didn't really do anything. And then that's what the packaging is looking like, emerald by Beauty Creations. Okay, and then when you open it up, 
this is what it looks like it does have a mirror and it's really really pretty but mine this top color came broken so I was so bummed when I saw that so I'm just gonna carefully show you guys without moving that and I have the plastic on top of it and this reminds me a lot of a Natasha Denona palette um I can't remember the name of it right now but to me it just kind of it just kind of has that vibe I don't know do you guys get that vibe there's a lot of like hunter greens there's some mustardy golds and oranges I don't know I think it's really really pretty so anyway um I reached out to glow addict on Instagram and I emailed them I, I emailed them and I reached out to them in the DMs on um, Instagram and they got back to me they were super super nice I just sent them a picture of the shadow that had broken and they were like yeah absolutely we'll send you out a replacement and at that point I decided I would go ahead and just uh, subscribe I was like you know let me just subscribe to this monthly uh, I really enjoy the customer service. I think that the box is curated really well. I mean, even for a mystery box, I think that's, I mean, I think I definitely got my $10, my $10.99 worth out of it. So that's why I decided to share it with you guys because I just felt like they handled the situation really, really well. So they, you know, were very polite. They got, they got back in touch with me very quickly. They said, you know, can we send out your replacement in your April box? I said, yeah, no, no, no problems. And they've already shipped my April box out. So I should have that really soon. So of course I'll be unboxing it here on my channel. So that's why I decided to share it with you guys. I just wanna let you know if you are interested in the Glow Attic subscription, I think that their customer service, at least for me, I can only speak for me, at least for me, they, um, I feel like they did really, really well. So let's go back over what we got for $10.99. Of course, this is a mystery box, so it could be different from other people, I'm not really sure. But we got the palette. We got the like flat top shade or like fluffy brush. We got the loose glitter. We got the two Ruby May eyeshadow singles. And then we got the mascara. So all in all, I'm really, really happy. And um, I thought it was really cool for $10.99. So anyway. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share, um, spread the love. I would love to try to get to 100 subscribers. Once I get to 100 subscribers, I really wanna do a giveaway for you guys. Um, thank you so much for all the comments y'all been leaving me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I love the interaction. That's the main reason why I wanna do these videos is to just like interact with you guys. So until next time, I hope you all are doing well. Like I said, stay safe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.